What's up guys, for today's video, I'm taking a look at the all new 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Then I'll show you many of the features on the interior, exterior, and I'm taking a look at this SUV's five years cost to own at the end of the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first, let's start with pricing. So the Tahoe comes with two available drivetrain you can choose from. The rear-wheel drive that starts at $54,595 and the four-wheel drive that starts at $57,595. And it comes with six available trims you can choose from. The base model LS that starts at $54,595 and it goes all the way up to $73,695 for the high country trim. My tester is the Z71 and has a starter sticker price of $65,595. So my tester is a Z71 trim, which comes standard with the front skid plate with red tow hooks, those 20 inch aluminum wheels with the 20 inch all terrain tires, adaptive ride suspension, and many more. And my tester is finished in black exterior color and has the very dark atmosphere leather interior and has a starter sticker price of 63,000. My tester has the optional luxury package, which includes all the road safety features, heated front and rear seats, HD surround cameras, and many more. And they also added the second row bucket seats, which made my tester has a window sticker of 67,690 after options, shipping, and handling, which means this SUV has over $2,800 in added options. So on the driver door, you have the window control, both driver and passenger side windows fully automatic. Right above it, you have the power folding mirrors and the rear window locks. You also have the mirror controls with chrome door handle on lock and unlock. You also have a wood finish with leather. You have the door grab handle, two stage memory seat. You have a small storage, a bottle holder, the Bose premium speaker system, and a small storage. And on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have your electronic parking brake, lane keep assist, traction control, the backup sensors, the 360 degree camera, the auto stop, and the power outlet. You also have a card holder. And right underneath, you have the four wheel drive controls, the mode selector. You can choose between sport, off road, tow, and normal. You also have your light control with your brightness. And on the steering wheel, you have the four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with your chrome accents and the blacked out Chevrolet emblem. On the left hand side you have your cruise control, you have the forward collision warning and on the right hand side you have your controls for the instrument cluster screen along with your voice command. Also behind the steering wheel on the left hand side you have the turning signal stock with the front and rear windshield wiper controls. And on the screen on the left hand side you have your speed with compass in the middle. And on the right hand side you have your tachometer with your mode selector and in the middle you have your speed drive summary trip one two timer tire pressure driver assistance oil life brake pad life air filter life blank page and your options you can choose which ones to see or hide you also have your audio your navigation your phone connection and your settings. You have your display layout. This is the classic one. You have progressive, digital, and clean, which is a more simplified theme. You also have the left side. You can choose which ones to see. And the right side, you also have the lower gauge and your information page options. You also have the units, speed warning, speed sign display, software information, and reset to default. And coming along the center, you have the 10-speed automatic transmission. 
to put it in gear is you pull up on reverse, up for drive, and in for neutral and park, and this is the low gears. You also have the upgraded 10 inch screen, two air vents, you have the hazards with a small sunglasses holder, and right underneath you have the radio controls, dual zone climate controls with heated seats. You also have USB-C, USB 12 volt power outlet, and a wireless charging pad. You also have two cup holders, a phone slot storage, and a deep center storage with a small divider. And it has a USB-C and a USB. And on the screen, you have your audio. You have AM, FM, Series XM, Bluetooth, Google News, Podcast, and USB. You have your Google Maps. Your phone connection. You have the camera. You have a bird's eye view camera along with a front camera and rear. You have a zoomed in front and rear camera. You have one on all four wheels. The tow camera and the camera settings. You also have the Google Assistant, the Play Store, which you can download apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have the trailer lights, your climate control. You can control it from the screens or from the buttons below. You also have the fully customizable settings. Wi-Fi hotspot, My Chevrolet, Google News and Podcast. On the sticker, the standard vehicle price is 63,000. They added the luxury package and the second row bucket seats, which made this SUV as a window sticker of 67,690. Here's the final assembly, five-star safety ratings, and fuel economy. You can see on this graph, this Tahoe's five years cost to own at a price of $63,477 loss. The depreciation on this SUV in five years is $27,500 with the biggest hit in the second year purchase. Fees and taxes paid is around $5,700 depends on the state you buy it in. Fuel paid in five years will cost around $11,100 depends on the way you drive it. Insurance will cost around $7,100 and interest comes at around $5,100. Maintenance, which is the most important factor, will cost you around $4,400. And lastly, repairs will cost you around $1,800.